everybody so welcome back, back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a kind of a diy project um with a bunch of different things and i'm going to show y'all what you're going to need okay i just bought the i got this uh one and a half inch binder here Nothing special. Y'all can't even really see that. Sorry, I'm working on my camera situation. As you can see, it's still not ideal. But anyway, y'all need one of those. <clears throat> um, the baseball holder sheets. You can't even really see these because they're clear. But it's just those clear baseball holder sheets that go in your notebook. Um and some of the index dividers and a bunch of whatever kind of paper you want i just use color notebook paper if y'all can see that maybe you can maybe you can't i don't know but um <laughs> cut in two and a half inches across and three and a half inches um, high, which is from what I from what I've read, this kind of looks smaller, but is the measurements of your pocket, the little pockets in your holders. So, all right, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to stay out here where y'all can uh, see me. But y'all bear with me because I'm not used to, uh, this is like my first time doing this. So it's going to take some getting used to. And um, so, yeah. But first off, what I'm going to do is I have already written down the names of what my compartments are going to be on here. Can y'all see that? I hope y'all can. But yeah i'm gonna i've already got those sections out and written down and then next i'm gonna take my little folder thing and we're gonna take our little cards that we cut out and just pretty much i'm out of frame again i might have to put lines on my desk y'all so i can actually see where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> um, just slot them in there like that. And so that that was actually right. The, the, the dimensions of these pockets were right. Um, and just, you know, whatever color paper or whatever you want. Just go with that. Um, I'm just going to put, you know, random colors. And each one of these pockets this one must be a little snug because it don't want to go in there but i'm gonna fill this whole one up and then i'll be right back okay y'all so this is what your finished product will look like and we're just gonna do this to a bunch of different ones and put them over to the side for right now and um get your binder and stick your little sheets in here sorry i'm knocking into the camera not meaning to and put your little dividers into your binder like so and then just go and put you know as you fill these up go and put them in between your little the, your little uh, divider sheets however many you want I just try to make mine a little bit colorful because I like colorful things um, so, 
at the end this is okay y'all so this is what it looks like so far i have put all my papers and my sheets and all my little slots and just for right now for the purpose of this video i put three just put three of them in each section um in case y'all were wondering what kind of stuff for my dividers i put uh glitter mixes for this binder glitter mixes pigments special pigments um glitters and spangles and so what i'm gonna do is this is how i'm gonna do it and i hope y'all can see i'm trying to work this out the best i can i have a pile of stuff over here to the side that i have got in for uh, wishes granted which y'all probably already seen my videos for these but um, like this is my glitter mix section and I'm just going to like slip them down in there and all the glitter mixes I'll put in this section and obviously I'm not going to make y'all sit through all of putting all of these in there these right here maybe but I have so many more that have that I have put up that I have that I have to get out and um put away. So this is that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them just put put all of, sorry I had to pause for my daughter. Uh, put all my all the glitter mixes in here. No. And then, sorry y'all, if y'all hear her in the background, she cannot get on my desk. Go make go make her get some clothes on. Sorry, she's running butt naked and trying to get in my video, so we don't want that. Go, go on, go get you some clothes. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put all these in here and then um, I'm hoping that I can get them in the front and the back. That way I can utilize, you know, utilize more space of this and actually be able to um, be able to store more. Uh, but I also lo love that the mix kind of stands out on, I don't, I hope y'all can see that. The mix is kind of stand out on the different color background. You can see the mix better, I think, than you could just in the bag, which is good. So, and I'm not going to run out of glitter mixes before I can actually, that I have right here, before I can actually uh, tell y'all. They'll fit in the front and the back. Um, but, yeah, that's how that looks so far. And, I'm, as I said, I'm just going to keep continuing to fill that up. Um, the next one I have would be, probably be, out here would be special pigments. And these are the glow-in-the-dark pigments that I have. Um, and so, I'm going to put these in the special pigments slot. <laughs> And just slide these down in here. I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to fit more than one. I mean, one on the front, one on the back of these because there's not. I think this is like a fourth of a teaspoon or something like that. So it's not a whole, whole lot. And so we're just going to continue to fill this up. Get him. And some of these I don't have things for right, right at this moment. So I'm just not gonna mess with those. But I'm just showing y'all how I'm going to do this, and then I'll, and then I'll come back with another video showing um, how exactly. It looks after I've gotten most of my stuff in here. Um, I'll do an updated video later on. And 
show y'all because I have a lot of stuff that's coming in and I have to get all that before I can show you. And I'm sorry if my hands are in the way. Like I said, I'm used to being in front of the camera where I can actually see what I'm doing and being um, back behind it, I can't see. So I hope I'm doing an all right job. And then I have two that are regular pigments. Um, this one is just like a shiny iridescent uh, sparkly pigment, glitter pigment, I guess. And I'm putting him right here in the pigment section. And then I have a purple. I have a purple pig pigment. I'm gonna put him right there. Um, but yes. Yeah, so this is pretty much the first page is like the fullest. So this is pretty much how this is gonna go. And um, yeah, so that's how it's gonna look when it's all filled up. Like I said, I will do an update video on how it looks. I'm also gonna have a different binder of I have a couple more that I want to find. I have a couple more that I want to fill up with like um, different things, but I have to have some stuff to come come in before I can do that. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much what this is going to look like. I'm trying to get it to where I can actually see. And then with all my little things and I'm hoping that they won't fall off the top don't it don't look like they're gonna move to me but yeah so that's how this is gonna look and as I said I will get back to y'all with an updated version uh, later on and or I may add it on to this video just depending on when I get this done um, so if I'll tell y'all um, at the end of this, I'll be silent for a second to leave myself room in case I do an updated video. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all like this tutorial, sort of tutorial. Um, I seen it on Facebook and I really thought, I mean, Facebook, yeah. I seen it on YouTube and I really thought it was cool. Um, so... And not only that, you'll be able to, I'll be able to flip through and see what I had. <laughs> Instead of trying to dig through a drawer and you still not really be able to see what you have. So, y'all try this out if you like it. And um, if you try it, please tag me in it. Um, let me know down in the comments. I also have a Facebook page for... Uh, I also have a Facebook book page. You can it's my crazy life. So y'all post your pictures and stuff there too. That would be wonderful. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.